Don't you just love dancing? I know I do, especially when you can put together a super cute outfit to go with it. Did you know that in Fargo, North Dakota, you may be jailed if you're wearing a hat to a function where dancing is going on, or if you're wearing a hat while dancing. If you're out dancing in North Dakota, I think it's best if you just switch out the hat for something else. Montana in North Dakota, Rosemary Kramlick. Lily, Lily, where are you? I can't find my way. Excuse me, have you seen my friend Lily? Sorry, I should introduce myself. My name's Miley. I mean, Hannah, Hannah Montana. I just saw Lily five minutes ago talking to our friend Rose. Rose was going on and on about this organization she's a part of called Rainbow. Apparently this year, Rose has been able to travel a lot and even get to visit something called a rep state. She told me all about this hoedown that she went to in Montana called Grand Assembly, which is held every year in their Grand Worthy Advisors hometown. She had so much fun learning about their Grand Assembly traditions, like their wishing wheel, where all of the girls have their names put into a bowl, and if their name is drawn, they get to spin the wheel and win a prize. Rose nearly lost her wiglet when her name was drawn, and she had earned herself a dance break in the middle of their session. By far, though, her favorite tradition was one called Chocolate Chances, where all of the girls and adults could purchase a small box of chocolates, and if the box that you purchased had a number on the inside of it, you had just won yourself a ceramic bowl painted and decorated by one of their grand officers. On top of all of the fun she was having, she got to learn a lot about their jurisdiction, like how every year their grand executive committee selects a Miss Montana Rainbow Service, which is a girl who demonstrates the purpose of rainbow and exemplifies true service. Just a few short weeks after Montana's Grand Assembly, Rose had the opportunity to fly out to Oklahoma for Supreme Assembly, where she got to meet up with her other rep state in North Dakota. Talk about the best of both worlds. Those girls were so nice and so excited to tell Rose all about their jurisdiction. She had so much fun learning about how every year, the girls of North Dakota volunteer at a circus hosted by their local shrine, where they sell toys donated by their girls and adults. All of the proceeds raised goes back towards the shrine and the girls have a hoot at the circus. Rose was so sad that she wasn't able to attend North Dakota's Grand Assembly this year, but the girls told her that she could still attend Mini Grand in March, which is a prequel to Grand Assembly, a way to build up excitement and a service project all in one. Well, after her party in the USA, it was time for Rose to head on home and it's time for me to hit the stage. See you around. Lily, Lily.